Welcome to the 10th video in this series on using Substance 3D Modeler. This will be centered on what content can be imported into Modeler and how to use them. Generally, when importing, you're bringing in something that's pre-made, so not everything has to be made from scratch. Currently, anything that can be imported into Modeler needs to be done via the file dropdown on the desktop. So for each of these, you'll see what needs to be done in the desktop UI first, then briefly see how it looks in VR. First up, you can import other modeler scenes to your current scene. Select Import Scene, or press Ctrl Shift O, and navigate to any modeler save file, which are saved as SMOD files. This takes all content from the save file and brings it into your current file. Additionally, files created from Adobe Medium can also be imported. You just need to choose from this drop down menu here. All of the content should be brought in, however, currently Modeler does not support reference images or additional lights, so those will be ignored. This will change in the future. Next up, you can import meshes into your Modeler scene. Go to Import Mesh, or press Ctrl Shift M. Supported meshes are the same as stamps and include OBJ, FBX, USD, and GLTF. If there are specific units that you want to use, you can select them from this dropdown, and if there is an up axis that you want to obey, then select from this dropdown. By default, Modeler uses Y as its up axis. After a moment, depending on the size of your mesh file, it should appear in the scene. Currently, if no colors are assigned to it, it will import as white. Use the select tool to interact with the mesh in the same way you would a clay layer. All of the same select tool features should apply. An additional function is to turn a mesh into a clay layer. If you want to modify or sculpt on the imported mesh, you'll need to convert it to clay first. Select it, head to the Actions menu, and convert to clay. You may have to wait a moment for Modeler to compute, but when finished, it can then be edited with any sculpting tools. One use for this is you can use pre-made meshes as a starting point to sculpt from. And this wraps up part 10 in this series on using Modeler. This part was on importing, the next part will be going over exporting out of Modeler.